All right, guys, today, Matt here for Tools. Let's do a versus video between the Hilti Neuron Impact Driver versus the DeWalt Atomic Impact Driver. Now, I will say that this is my favorite DeWalt Impact Driver, but both of these are awesome. Also, at the end, we're gonna do a four amp hour battery with a big lag. Blessed be the barrel brand. So towards the end, we are gonna do a four amp hour battery on the Hilti Neuron. So we'll see how this does against the lithium power stack battery. So let's look at the specs and just get to it. All right, so the DeWalt Atomic with the 1.7 power stack battery weighs two pounds and 13.2 ounces. And the Hilti Neuron with a 2.5 amp, amp hour battery weighs three pounds and 7.2 ounces. The battery on the DeWalt is full and the battery on the Hilti is full. Gotta get this one out of here. Yeah, this one's in there. Like it's nothing to grip to get out. There we go, that the one, oh, that's why. This Timberlock is from the Works brushed uh, drill driver, you know, the switch, the switch one. First, let's start off with the uh, eight inch Timberlock. Now remember, these are very hard tasks to do. It's not, a, it's not an easy task, so it takes a mite, but we, I do these to warm the tools up. So let's warm this one up. Oh, sorry, do you saw the battery life? Battery life is full. It's on speed three. Time. Next, let's do the Hilti Neuron. Battery is full, it is on speed three. There we go. Time. And remember, this is a 2.5 amp hour battery with 18650 cells. This is a brand new lithium stack technology. All right, let's take DeWalt's out. Time. All right, let's take Hilti's out. So I'm just curious, because remember this 1.7 power stack battery was able to compete with its uh, own four amp hour battery with 21700 cells, which is right here. And we tested the crap out of that and this is actually equivalent in power with this. So let's see how the four amp hour battery does. All you guys know, I do not know the test results until I edit the video. I'm curious. Time. Let's uh, take this out. Time. Not too shabby. All right, I want to do one with the four amp hour battery for DeWalt, seeing how well this does. Oh, the battery on the DeWalt's 21700 cell battery is full. Time. All right, let's take it out. Excellent. Let's go back to the 2.5 amp hour battery. All right, so next let's do a uh, six inch specs. Time. Right, let's take DeWalt's out. I want to see in how this one feels. Yeah. 
time. On this saw, we're going to test out one four inch by half inch lag each and one six inch by half inch lag each. Depending on how well both of these do, we'll bump it up to a eight inch lag because that's the depth that this uh, piece of wood can go. After that, it's just going to go through the, through the bottom. I'm going to give it one more pull because I learned a long time ago if you keep going that's when you break your adapter so if it stops like that just give it a break see if it goes and if it does not continue to spin we're going to declare that a fail. All right, Time it did it. Oh that, that fan feels good. That fan seriously feels good. If you guys need fan, I'm gonna make a video about it. If you guys need fans, buy fans now before they're sold out because they will. I think that's time. Not, not too shabby, not bad for a 2.5 amp hour battery. Right, let's take the waltz out. Not bad at all for 1.7 amp hour battery either. I love tools, you guys, I do. Time. Let's take out Hilties. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So let's bump it up to a six inch leg. Right here should be good. We'll see in how well they do on this. If they both seem to struggle a lot, we'll skip the eight, in, uh, the eight inch lag, but we'll see. We will see. <laughs> All right, so that's where that stops. I'm gonna give it one, I'm gonna wait 10 seconds, give it one more trigger pull. And then it stops, it stops. Yep. That's where it stopped. Now, if the Hilti fails as well, we're gonna redo it. We're just gonna do a test. All right, there's about a half inch left, so I'm gonna use uh, something else to take that out. Right, let's take this out. All right, battery is still full on the power stack. Right, let's choose another spot. We're gonna go over here. All right, let's try this out. Little angle, but it's okay. Let's redo that. It's way too much of an angle. Uh, that's a failed attempt, so we got to redo it. Damn it. That's a shame. Come on, just do it straight. All right, so as you can see from this footage, both of these tools were, uh, it's user error, but both tools were driving in these six inch lags at a complete angle, which that's not a good test. Uh, they both drove in these lags so like about three or four times halfway and pulled them out. And as you can see, as a result of that, the battery is at two bars on the uh, DeWalt and the battery is at two bars on the Neuron. So we're gonna do this one more time and see if we could drive them in straight. Then after this, we're gonna go to a higher amp hour battery for both of them. All right, we're gonna declare that's where it stops. All right, so a half inch left. Uh, let's do Hilti's 2.5 amp hour battery. These tasks really do requ require a higher amp hour battery on all, across all brands. Right here is good, let's see. Hilti's at 146, the Dewalt's at 149. 
We are going to do the 4 amp hour to the two 4 amp hour batteries. They both are still full. DeWalt is full. And the Hilti Neuron is full. All right, but we are going to take out these. We're going to take these out with the power stack. Time. All right, let's take out Hilties. Time. For the final test, let's do two eight inch by half inch lags. Due to the batteries just being completely drained, there's one bar on the DeWalt and there's two bars on the Hilti Neuron. Uh, we're gonna switch over to four amp hour batteries. Too much of an angle, are you serious? Let's try that again. Jesus. I think that's time. Yep, that is time. Not too shabby on DeWalt. Like I said, you guys, this is a hard task for impact drivers. It is not easy. It is not easy by any means. Right there should be pretty good. It's way too much of an angle, seriously. I do not know why it's doing this. All, like through the entire video, it's doing this. All right, let's try this again. Time. Oh, driving me crazy all video. All right, so let's take out DeWalt's. Let's take out Hilties. Time. All right, so as you guys can see that higher amp hour batteries are more powerful than lower amp hour batteries. When it comes to the DeWalt PowerStack battery, this is powerful. This one does compete with the four amp hour battery with 21700 cells, but obviously it's a 1.7 amp hour battery and it, this won't be able to keep up in duration with, the, with these batteries. Even the 2.5, the 2.5 has two bars left, and the power stack has one bar left. So, but not a bad battery at all. Like, I can't wait for DeWalt to make more. But as you can see, that when it comes to using a higher amp hour battery with 2700 cells with, on the Hilti, it actually changes the tool on, on its performance. It really does. And both of these tools are really hot. The Hilti is a 152. And the DeWalt is 157. But we did do a test between the four amp hour batteries with 2700 cells and the lower amp hour batteries, including the DeWalt power stack. And so, yeah, the test results are there, you guys. I do not know the results until I edit the video. More videos coming up, you guys, including, including round two with the Milwaukee and the Hilti. And so this video is coming up, so please subscribe to the channel for and hit the bell button to be notified for that. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.